Well, hello everyone. Happy 4th of July. And it is already, um, it's already, um, 8.30 in the morning. So, so this will be a video of the, whatever it is. So what do we have here? This is, an, we have another 7002T in front. But this one's rebranded by Spectronix. So this is, so this will be a video of the Spectronix 7002T-24. And it's another 24 volt 7002T I have. So why not give it a test of this? And this is fire alarm test number 56. So anyways, let's take a look at this alarm. As you can see, let me zoom out for a second. As you can see, um, this is normally a 7002T, but you know how this horn is a 34T, all they did was just stick a strobe on the top. So, a 7002T would normally look like this. A normal 7002T would not have a Spectronix logo. But this is a Spectronix rebranded. It's a Wheelock rebranded 7002T, but it's been rebranded by Spectronix. As you can see by the logo down here, if the camera will focus in on that. Let me see. There we go. It's rebranded by Spectronix. And here's the back of the device. And there goes my phone alarm clock. So let me silence that. And here is the back of the device. And this device is only 0.82 candela, so the strobe on this thing is not very bright at all. And this one, and this one has a smaller label. And this one was made in the 29th week of 1992. So this is a, uh, this device is uh, 32 years old. Just to throw that out there. So this device is about 32 years old. And it's a really neat device. And and here's the terminals down here. I think I believe inside this little plastic tube is your diode, your polarization diode, because a lot of older alarms need to be polarized because that's how the NAC supervision works on the panels. As you can see, the the strobe is wired in series with the horn. You have the transformer, the coil and you have the wires going up to the strobe right there and the strobe takes power away from the horn it draws ener it withdraws energy from the horn and when the strobe sucks up so much power when it takes power away from the horn that's what causes it to skip a beat so that's basically how all two two wire 7002 T's work and you have your hammer in there. Let me zoom in on that. You have the little hammer in there that vibrates the horn plate. That's what makes your strobe, that's what makes your alarm sound. It's pretty cool and interesting. Well, for your information, guys, that Wheelock used to make these, but they don't make these anymore. But it's a very cool device to have. And there's a date code in the bottom right here, but the... It says the 2 is missing, so the... So, so it's the 29th week of 1992. Okay. And the strobe is only 0.82 candela, which means the strobe on this thing is not very bright at all. So, let's go ahead and hook it up and give it a test for you guys. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I got the 7002T all hooked up, and now we're ready to plug it in. So, are you guys ready? So... Let's actually sound it off. Right. Here we go. And five, four, three, two, 
one. Pretty loud, but that was very cool. It doesn't sound too bad, and, and as you may know, I'm using my 24 volt filtered DC power supply, so this is not running off of the panel. As you could tell, oh, and the dogs are barking upstairs. <laughs> so, anyways, and a 7002T is a pretty awesome alarm, but they're starting to become vintage and they're starting to become rare. So, I really like these alarms, how cool it sounds, and every time when you sound the horn and the strobe together on this alarm, the strobe makes the horn skip a beat. You can hear, you can, you can hear the famous strobe skipping because this does make a a comeback to my elementary school fire drills and stuff like that. So let's go on to the pole station part of the test, shall we? Now to activate this alarm with the pole station, we're going to be using the Notifier BG10L. And the reason why I'm using this pole station is because 7002Ts also go with the BG10L or a Firelight BG12. but this is a Notifier BG-10L. So anyways, let's activate it. In three, two, one. Let's have the pole station reset. Yeah, I accidentally used the wrong key. I thought it was my firelight key, but it turns out this is a notifier pole station, so it uses a notifier key. So that's basically all it is. You know what? Let's do drill mode. Three, two, one. Yeah, the reason why, excuse the cardboard, because this alarm does slide around when it's going off, because this is a mechanical horn strobe, and it does like to move around a lot. It does like to turn sideways, or move forward, or move backwards, so... So... And for a special bonus for this video... Let's just let's just um, activate it with the BG12 too, because to redistribute back in Fire Alarm Test 28 when I tested my original 7002T with this alarm, um, with my other 7002T, so why not this one here? 
So let's restribute to that video that I made five years ago when I tested my original 7002T. So anyways, here's the pole station, here it is, and let's pull it. Here we go. Three, two, one. So that's off. That was activated. So anyways, whoops, <laughs> whoops, that's the problem. I didn't lock it all the way. There we go. <laughs> that was funny. Whole station fell over. If you guys want to make it even more fun, how about I activate it one more time? Here we go. Push in. If I just open it and close it, it'll just shut off. But on the panel, it may not work like it doesn't work like that because once you reset the pole station, the alarm is still going until you reset the system. So anyways, let's unplug the power supply. So, well, I hope you enjoyed fire alarm test number 56. I've been doing this series for eight years now and Next year, it would be nine years since I've been continuing the series. But I'm trying to continue as much as this as long as I possibly can. I just don't like to make them that too close to each other because you guys don't get a chance to watch some of my older content that I released and stuff like that. So, so this is actually a lot of fun to make it's fourth of july and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'm very very happy that i bring this some old vintage stuff to the table so that that was a test of the spectronics rebranded wheelock 7002 t i hope you enjoyed it and thank you all so much for watching and happy fourth of july everybody see you in the next video Thank you. Bye-bye.